Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you are new here. My name is Blair, welcome to my beauty space. So today I want to do my best of 2018 drugstore makeup edition and this is the last installment. Hopefully because I still have a lot of products I need to go through. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get started. So last time I know that we're left off of the highlighter slash blush section but then I went back to my collection and then I still feel like there are some blushes, highlighters, bronzers, contours in the 2018 that really stood out for me. So I feel like they deserve a shout out. So let's just continue with the whole cheek section. So the first highlighting palette that I want to give a shout out to is this Milani highlighting palette. This is called the Stellar Light rose glow highlighting palette so in this one you actually have three different functions you have a very light highlight which is really beautiful let me swatch it for you guys look how beautiful that is look how pigmented it is so beautiful then you have this medium shade i usually use this one the most because i feel like this is super versatile with any kind of bronzer contour then you have the darker shade which is also very beautiful I wear this one mostly on itself because I feel like the color is already super pigmented. As you can see, it has like the bronze sheen to it. So I just think this is such a great palette. It just has all the options and then the colors are really like nicely made together. I feel like you can layer those together or you can use them individually. And also the powder is super soft and super pigmented and also it just really nice and just such a beautiful glow so i cannot rave about this enough so i highly recommend this milani stellar light highlighting palette moving on i have two highlighting palette from pixie beauty that i just absolutely love and i love them equally that's why i want to give them both a shout out so here are the two highlighting palettes right here so the first one is called subtle sunrise so this one is kind of like a champagne and a bronze color so let me swatch it. Look how beautiful the color is. This one is so pigmented. And also it just have a very nice like highlight. Wow, look at that champagne color. I use that color a lot in the year of 2018 just because I think it's just so beautiful and this gives you almost like a wet look it has that wet pigmentation but it's not like too much so so i think it is so amazing it's just really really beautiful so this is the subtle sunrise then moving on we have the dedicate duo so these two are more like the pinky kind of like a subtle highlight as well so let me swatch it for you guys first the pink shade right here look at the color look how beautiful that color is I use this pink shade a lot. Those two I use the most because I just like a lighter color. But then even the darker color here is not too dark. That's why I also use this one a lot. Look how beautiful. These highlighters just have a very unique texture. Like I couldn't really say what exactly. But just look at the colors. Look how beautiful. This is the Milani one. These are the Pixie one. I think the Pixie one are more like finely milled compared with the Milani one. Like as you can see the texture side by side, like the Pixie one just feel like it has like a softer texture and the chunks are softer. It's just really, really delicate and beautiful. So I've been using this one a lot in the year of 2018. I've been using this one a lot this year as well. So I think this one deserves a shout out. Yeah, I have two ColourPop highlighters that I absolutely love and I think those two are also the best seller on the ColourPop list so that means that a lot of people love those as well. So the first one is called Flexitarian. So this one is Kathleen Light's fave and I can see why. Look at the color. So let me swatch it right here. This is literally like a wet finish look so let me just swatch it right here. Look how beautiful that color is. It's actually very similar to the Milani one, but this one definitely feels more like a white looking one. So if you want a beanie highlight, this Flexitarian it will be your best friend because it's just so beautiful. I think those two can be dupes. But if you look closely, I definitely think the ColourPop one has a better texture, to be honest. It's just more of a wet feel and it feels really wet. And also you can just like press it like this like the putty highlighter kind of a collection and this one is so much cheaper than the Stila putty highlighter so I absolutely love this highlighter 
Then moving on, the second highlight I really love from ColourPop is called Lunch Money. This one is also a top seller, so many people love about it. This one definitely has more of like a champagne sheen to it. So let me swatch it. Look at the color right here. And I'm gonna just place it right here. So here, compared with Flexitarian, this is definitely more of a subtle highlight. And I think this one can be used mostly on like the daily events. The Flexitarian will be more like a beanie special event. Or just depending on your mood, you can wear whatever. This is 2019, you do whatever you like. So yeah, let me just swatch it right next to the Milani one again. As you can see, it's definitely like a subtle highlighter, but I still think it's very versatile. I think this one looks really good on a lot of different skin tones. And also the color undertone is the most versatile one. So yeah, I really love my lunch money. On the next highlighting duo is from NYX. So this is a relative new one. This released at the end of 2018. So this is the NYX Mechanis Grind Highlighter. I love this one mostly for the color right here. So let me swatch it right here for you guys. This is also a very white feel right here. So let me just place it right on top of the pixie one. So here is the color right here. I personally still love the pixie one better. I still think the performance is better. But I really love this color because it's kind of like a dirty money kind of color. It's just really unique. It's just really beautiful. And also the color is not like too blinding. I think this will look beautiful on darker skin tone. And also if you wear like a bronzer, this will be really beautiful to go along with the bronzer. That's why I really like it. As for the color right here, I also really like it. But I don't use this often just because I feel like the color is a little bit on the darker side. But I think it will be beautiful if you just wear it alone. Look at the color right here, right? It has a sheen to it, but it's not like an overwhelming sheen to it. So that even if you wear this as a bronzer, it will be really good. You just bluff it out. You just buff it out so that it's not like too much. So I really love the color. I think it's so beautiful. So this is another highlighting duo that I absolutely love in the year of 2018. Alright, moving on, the next highlighting palette that I just think is so amazing, everybody should get it, is this sleek makeup highlighting palette. So this is in the shade Solistis. So this is my favorite shade out of, you know, all of them. This is actually a brand new palette. I have another one, but I use quite a lot, so I just need a new one. And this, you have two beamy highlights, which is powder highlight, then you have two cream highlights. I really love the shade right here. Let me swatch it for you guys. Look how beautiful the shade. Let me swatch it right here. Just look how beautiful. And I think this is a very unique color. It has kind of like a purple undertone, which I don't have a lot in my collection. That's why I think this is so unique right here. Also, I really love this shade as well. So let me swatch it. Look at the color. So it's right here. Look how pigmented. But this one definitely feels a little bit on the powdery side. So I personally love to use like the purple one the most. Oh, actually this one is not a cream one. I saw this one is a cream one. This is actually not. And I really love this color as well. This is definitely more of kind of like a yellow undertone. But I feel like it's mostly white. So I really love this color as well. As for the cream, I don't use this a lot. But I feel like if you want that kind of purple-ish cream, this one will be your best friend. So it's right here. And also it's definitely on like the beauty side. That's why maybe I'm not as attracted. Because when I pull this palette, I want like a beanie highlight. That's why I always go for this color right here. And sometimes this one. So yeah, I absolutely love this sleek makeup highlighting palette. Alright, moving on, the next single highlighter that I use a lot in the year of 2018 is the Wet n Wild Highlighting Gold Bar. This one is a limited edition and I believe I bought this one in a set, like I couldn't even get my hands on the individual one. I really love it because A, it's super affordable and B, I just love the color. Let me show you guys. Look how beautiful the color is. Even though this one I feel like has been replaced by some of my other highlighter, this is the color right here. I still really love to use this from time to time and I believe this one is my first love 
before the Pixel one came along. That's why I still want to give this one a shout out because this one is really affordable and it's really beautiful. So this is kind of like a darker gold color, which will be really beautiful on a lot of different skin tones. And for me, I just like to use this one when I have like a bronzer on so that it really goes well with the bronzer. Let me swatch one more time. As you can see, that's the color right here. So I don't really have a color like this in my collection other than this one. But I have been always coming back to this one because this is such a unique gold color and I really, really love it. All right, moving on, the last highlight I really love in the year of 2018 is this Maybelline Master Chrome by Face Studio. So this is their metallic highlighter and they have so many different colors, but my favorite color is 250. The reason is that I love a white shimmery highlight. So let me swatch it for you guys. Look at the color right here, how beautiful that is. And let me just place it right here look at the color so now i feel like once i compare this color with my pixie beauty with my color pop it seems a little bit powdery but i still really love this one but uh, but honestly speaking if you have to pick one i definitely think you should go with the pixie beauty because i think this is really beautiful but i still really love this one i love the design this is also like my first love i remember when they first came out with this one i love it so much i bought like two or three so i just love it i still think this is a beautiful color and as you can see it it has a little bit like a white gold to it that's why i want to keep this one in my collection because i don't have any other color like this so yeah this is the last highlighter that i absolutely love all right moving on next is the blush category i have five blushes i really really love so the first one is by wet and wild it's their hummingbird collection this is called hummingbird hype so this is what it looks like I really love this color because this one is such like a versatile blush. I almost feel like this one can be used as a highlight, but it's called a blush. So let me swatch it for you guys. So here is the color right here. As you can see, it's a very, very subtle color. However, it's very beautiful on skin tones, like especially light to medium skin tone. But if you have darker skin tone, this one will look good on you as well because it does have that red undertone to it. I really love to use this one as kind of like a blush topper because it is pretty like shimmery, but also non-pigmented. So I just really, really love it. I've been pulling this one a lot in the year of 2018. And I think this is a great price. Why don't I always have great highlighter, great blush. So this is the first one that I really, really love. All right, moving on. The second blush I really, really love is this NYX Baked Blush Plus Illuminator Plus Bronzer. So this is what it looks like. First of all, look how cute is this packaging. I know this is not a new product. However, I discovered this product in the year of 2018. I've never found out that NYX has this one like before 2018. I don't know how and why, but I just one day found this one in my local CVS and then I'm just like so in love with it. So let me open it for you guys. Here is the blush looks like this is in the shade this is in the shade pink fetish I really love this shade specifically because I don't have a lot of pink colors like this so let me swatch it for you guys this one is the color right here as you can see it is pretty pigmented however it doesn't swatch that well on the hand but once you put on your face it is really beautiful and also you can spray your brush a little bit then apply this one because it is a baked blush so the texture is a little bit hotter so if you use like a fix plus it will be bad so if you use a fix plus it will be better but anyway i really love this blush i think it's so beautiful it's just such an amazing color right here just look how beautiful the color is right look at the color so yeah i absolutely love this blush and i highly recommend to you guys now the third blush i really love is this la girl just blushing and this is called just radiant i love this blush because a it is super affordable B, the colors are so versatile. I feel like this color reminds me of NARS Orgasm, honestly. Let me swatch it for you guys. Like, all the sheens are really similar, and I think this one is even more pigmented than the NARS Orgasm, which is really great because I personally think that NARS Orgasm should be used as a blush topper because it's so sheer. But this one actually has a sheen to it, so that's really nice. And also, this one is only five bucks, which is a really good price point. I just really love the color, so this is the third one that I really love. 
All right, so the fourth blush is from BH Cosmetics and it is called the Illuminated by Ashley Tisdale. So when I saw this one from Ulta.com, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to have this one because this is a cream cheek and a lip tint. So you can not only use this one as a cheek blush or you can use it as a lip topper as well. I just really love the color. I think it is so beautiful and also I love the packaging. Everything is beautiful. I really love Ashley Tisdale from High School Musical. So when she has a collab, I'm like, yes, I have to try it. So let me swatch it for you guys. This is a cream blush. So here, look how pigmented that is. I need to do a tutorial using this color so you guys can see. Because I know that Glossier, like their lip cloud paint is really popular. But I feel like cream blush is the same kind of concept as like the cloud paint. So I really want to do like a tutorial using this one. Maybe even compare this with a Glossier like cloud paint. So yeah, I just love this color and it is so beautiful, so pigmented. Highly recommend. All right, moving on. Lastly, the blush is by Physician Formula. So this is what it looks like. First of all, look how cute the packaging is. I bought this one mainly for the packaging, but then I fell in love with the formula inside. This, I believe, is like their Valentine's Day collection, which is so beautiful. So once you open it up, here is the powder. Look just how beautiful the powder is. So let me swatch it for you guys. Look at the color right here. Here is the color. It doesn't show that much on the skin, to be honest. But once you apply on your cheeks, it's actually pretty pigmented. So I definitely love the color. I think it is so beautiful. And it's such like a nice fuchsia kind of color, like a pop of pink on your cheek, which is so beautiful, especially perfect for the spring season. So I just really love this blush. I think it's absolutely amazing. So this is the last blush that I absolutely love in the year of 2018. All right, moving on next is the eyeshadow category. I think this is the most exciting category because a lot of people want to say what kind of palettes I like. So let's dive right into it. Is this BH Cosmetics Carly Bebel Deluxe Edition. I love Carly Bebel. She's my first love in terms of beauty YouTubers. So whenever she does a collab, I just want to support her. The Deluxe Edition is just so, so nice. I've been using this actually a lot off camera in the year of 2018 because the colors are really versatile like whenever i want a natural look i always pull this palette because all the shades are just so beautiful it's a lot of like pink mauve shades and then you also have all the highlighters right there so i love it a lot and also carly use this palette a lot sometimes if i want to dupe a look from her i just pull this palette and i use it so yeah i just really love this palette let me swatch a few shades I feel like I don't even need to talk that much because, you know, she talk about her palette a lot. That's also one thing I really love about her is that whenever she has a collab, she makes sure that she uses that palette a lot so that people get a lot of look out of it, a lot of inspirations. I feel like she really puts a lot of effort into it. So that's why I really want to support her and I really love it. And also here, this pink shade is so beautiful as well. A lot of times I just pop this one on the center of my eyes and then just call it a day like that look how beautiful that is and then the mauve shades right here i love this mauve shade right here it is so beautiful and so pigmented i just love it just look at the swatch like literally that's just one swatch i swear i didn't do anything so i just think this is such a great palette at such an affordable price i know that this is a limited edition so if you still can get your hands on it please get it because it's so amazing and i'm looking and i'm so and I'm so looking forward for her next palette because it is time. So yeah, this is a Carly Bebel palette that I love in the year of 2018. Moving on, speaking of BH Cosmetics, I have another palette that from BH Cosmetics I think deserve a shout out. So this is a BH Cosmetics Glam Reflection Gilded 15 color eyeshadow palette. So this is what it looks like. And once you open it up, here are the shades. What I love the most about this palette is how versatile those shades are. It's like really, it's like really wearable shades, but at the same time, it's not just like the same warm brown. It actually have fun like burnt orange colors, like mustard colors, yellow colors, and pink shimmers. So it's just different, but also at the same time, very wearable. That's why I've been loving this palette a lot. If you guys can see, I actually use this shade a lot. I love this shade. Look how beautiful that color is. 
right like look how beautiful i just love the color then we also have this burn like watermelon shade you may call it so so pretty look how pigmented that is that's why i feel like drugstore is really really doing great in the year 2018 they're killing the game moving on the next palette is also from bh cosmetics I think bh cosmetics is killing the eyeshadow game in the year of 2018 so i really love this 26 color eyeshadow and a blush palette and this is what it looks like first off i love the white packaging i know mine is all dirty but still i just love the white packaging and I'll wait till you see the inside so here is the inside looks like just tell me how gorgeous this color is this is such a gorgeous spring look and all the blush color selections are beautiful as well all the colors are just so beautiful so wearable i definitely need to do a tutorial using this one especially for the spring look because i don't think i ever featured this one on camera yet which is not fair because this is such a gorgeous palette and I use this one so much like in my private life especially when I need to get out the door and just leave I feel like this one is my best friend alongside my Cardi Bible palette because all the warm shades are just my kind of shades I just love it so much and here like all like the beautiful pink shades are just so so amazing such an amazing palette I just love this palette so much and I highly recommend to you guys yeah, the next palette I really love from the drugstore is the Emily Noel palette. This is called the Wants, the Emily Edit. I really love her palette. It's a shame that there's such drama around it, but I think this is such a decent palette. So here, as you can see, those are all the colors. First of all, it's really big pen. I really love that. It's really big pen. And second of all, it has all the shade names there. It's just a very athletic, pleasing palette. Just look at the shades. I know I never featured it on camera yet, but I'm definitely gonna do a look using this one as well. Like the BH Cosmetic Palette, I think this one also deserves its own moment. It has like pop of orange color, but then you also have darker like mauve color mauve color right here you have blue color green color then you have the transition shades right here beautiful shade right here beautiful shade right here it's just such a unique palette i don't think there's any color story like this one existing in the market that's why i think this one is so beautiful so unique it has a giant mirror so i love the design of the packaging especially the emily edit i just think it's so cool so i love it especially now i think they fix the issue so i definitely think you should give this one a chance i'm definitely gonna do some tutorials using this palette because i think this palette deserves its own moment oh so yeah this is another palette that i love so much in the year of 2018 so the last palette I absolutely love in the year of 2018 is the NYX Swear By It eyeshadow palette. So here is the palette right here. First of all, look how beautiful this palette is. When I saw this palette, I'm like, this is mine. So I think this is NYX's first ever big eyeshadow palette. I don't think they ever had a palette like this. So when they released this palette, I'm like, yes, this is mine. When I play with it off camera, I just really love it. I especially love the shade right here. This is kind of like a beautiful shimmer shade. I think this shade is so unique. I don't. I don't see a lot of shades like this floating around. Also, you have the black yellow right here. You have this green color right here, dark red, and then all the blue shades right here. It's just such a beautiful palette. I feel like this is such like a makeup artistry palette. If you're a makeup artist, I think this will be a good palette in your kit. And if you just play for yourself, I still think this is such a great toy to play around with. So I'm definitely going to play around with some of the shades. Personally, I don't feel like I use this one enough, but I still really love this a lot that's why i want to put this one in my best of 2018 so yeah definitely stay tuned because i'm gonna do tutorials on this one as well so this is the last eyeshadow palette i really really love all right moving on i still have some individual eyeshadows i really think you guys will love it because i love it so much in the year of 2018 so the first one is by milani and this is called the hypnotic nights and i am in the shade number one this is called luster light so this is such like a beautiful shimmer color let me swatch it for you guys right here just look at it look how beautiful that color is I feel like this can be a great deal for the Stila glitter lights and you just put this one in the center of your eyelids like this and then you just create a beautiful eye makeup look and this is so easy to apply 
takes like two seconds like i literally wear this on top of my other glitter eyeshadow and i think it just blended out so well because this color is super versatile i just really love the color i think this is like a very very versatile color so this is the first individual eyeshadow i really love in the year of 2018 Moving on, the second color is also this kind of like glitter eye color. So this is by Morphe and this I got from their holiday set. So this is called the metallic eyeshadow and this is called flare. So let me show you guys real quick right here. Look how beautiful that color is. This is like a dark kind of a green color. I really love this color. I just think this is so beautiful and it is just so easy to apply. Also this one you can put on the center of your eyes or you can put on like the outer corner of your eyes just to have like a smoke out effect. I think either way is really good. So I just really really love the color. I think it is so beautiful and this is also very affordable because it's Morphe. So yeah, I highly recommend you guys pick this one up. And moving on, I have two NYX foiled play eyeshadows and I love them so much. So the first one is called Beauty Buzz and this is a color right here. First of all, I love the packaging like this. This is so beautiful. This actually reminds me of like a Stila white eyeshadow but that one is like 30 something dollars. This one is less than 10 dollars. And I look at the color. So let me swatch it for you guys. Bang. Look at the color right here. Just look how pigmented that color is. It definitely has a champagne undertone. So I just really love the color. I think it is so beautiful and it's so easy to use. You don't even need to use a dropper. You just use your hand and apply on the center of your eyes. Just give you like a beautiful glitter eye. So this is the first one that I really love. Second color is this yellow gold color. It's called Steal Your Man. So this is a color right here. As you can see, I use a lot because this is such a beautiful yellow gold. So let me swatch it for you guys right here. Look how beautiful that color is. It is just so beautiful and it is so easy to apply because this is a foil texture. So it doesn't require that much blending. I just really love this color and I use it a lot. So these are the two NYX foil to play eyeshadow that I absolutely love. Speaking of the foil play, you can also get one from Makeup Revolution. So I have this one called Rebound and this is by Makeup Revolution. As you can see, I use a lot as well. I really love this color as well. That's why I bought it because this is kind of like champagne -y kind of a color. So here's the color right here. Those are just such wearable shades. I just love this foiled eyeshadow because it's so easy to use and also it's so pigmented and it is so creamy, just so nicely blend out. So it's just so, so amazing and also it's drugstore. So it's just so amazing. That's why I absolutely love this foil eyeshadow. I have two jelly eyeshadows by ColourPop and this is the new formula this year. It's kind of like the jelly highlighter but this time it's like the jelly eyeshadow and I love those two colors so much. So the first one is this green color called Into Focus. So this is a color right here and let me open it up. So here you have a cap because it's jelly so that's why I feel like it's better you have a cap so it's easier to store. So here is a color right here. Let me just swatch a little bit oh my god that's a lot so let me put it back that's the one thing about the jelly eyeshadow is that it's a little bit like messy to use but look at the color look how beautiful this color is i think this is a perfect color for the saint patrick's day like the green color right here right it is just so pretty i love this color so so much then next i have another jelly match eyeshadow by ColourPop, and this is called foxes so this is the color right here. I just love a beautiful golden kind of yellow color. So let me swatch it right here. That's the thing is that sometimes with this jelly kind of eyeshadow, it's a little bit messy. But if you can look past that, look at the color payoff, right? That is so beautiful. I just think this color is just so, so amazing. It's such a versatile color. It'll look good on so many skin tones. That's why I absolutely love this jelly eyeshadow by ColourPop. Lastly, we have two eyeshadows left. So the first one is kind of like an eyeshadow duo. This is by e.l.f. and this is called the Peach Squad. 
I got this in my local Target. The reason why I love this is that this one is perfect to travel with because you have this beautiful peachy shade right here. Let me swatch it. It's just so beautiful. It's such a beautiful matte shade. Like I just, I know I use so many times like the word beautiful, but I don't know what else to say because look at the color right here. How versatile are those colors? So here is a swatch. Look, just, it's such a nice swatch. And then the brown shade has shimmer to it. So here is a brown shade right here. Let me swatch it right here on my knuckles. So here is a brown shade. I don't think the brown shade swatch as nicely as the matte, but you know what, with the shimmer, you can always use the spray to bring out the intensity. And also you can use like a glitter glue, any kind of like glue to really bring out the beautiful shade in this one. So I really love this duo. I think you should get it because it's like $3. All right, finally, the last single eyeshadow that I absolutely love is by the brand Catrice. So this is called the Liquid Metal Eyeshadow, and this is a color in Satina Wonder Woman. And if you guys know why, you will know, because this is a Gossip Girl. My name is Blair, so I need a Serena in my life. I know this is Satina, but it's kind of the same. And let me tell you, this color is so bomb. So if you don't like any kind of jelly or foil texture, you want a more of a traditional powder eyeshadow, but you still want to pay off, this will be your best friend. Let me just swatch it for you guys. Bang. Look at the color. So right here, this is the color right there. Look how beautiful that color is. I love the color. It is such a versatile color. And also I feel like this one, if you want a more wearable shade, you don't want like bang glitter in your face, this will be your best friend. And I guess what, this one can also be used as a highlight because the shade is just like the Opal shade by Becca. It's such a versatile champagne shade. I just love it so much. So here is the color right here. And also, I think this is a big formula, so it's just really nice formula. I just love it. It's just so beautiful. So I absolutely recommend this one to everybody. All right, so that's all the eyeshadows I absolutely love in the year of 2018. And I don't want this video to be too long, so I guess we will have a part four, which will cover my lipsticks, concealers, brow products, setting sprays. So definitely stay tuned for that one. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.